Hey guys, what's going on? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jose once again here uh, with uh, this sensor right here is going to apply to 2004 with the EGR uh, on it and all the way to 2008. They also go up to 9, 10, 11, 08, 12s, but I mess more with 04s and 08s. That's, that's what I had, so that's what I mess with. Uh, let's find out what the sensor does. Okay. So this sensor right here, as you can see, it has a, it has three ways. It has a yellow, brown, and green. Every single one of those means something. It's not there just to be there. Uh, looks like a little very common, uh, you know, uh, sensor. If you can get those numbers right there, those numbers are going to be very, very important whenever you go and replace this. The first number you're going to be looking at is 184-55-36-C91. That's your first number you want to look at. Uh, all the other numbers at the bottom, I have no idea what they mean, okay? So don't don't even ask me what they mean. So anyways, this sensor is an ICP, Injection Control Pressure Sensor. As you can tell, this bad boy has a, a connector right here. Uh, you might be wondering, where does this go, Joe? Well, this sensor right here goes inside of your actual head, okay? It sits at the very top of the... Uh, high pressure oil rail and this bat boy you send you send oil through here and this is what makes your truck start now how do you know how exactly do you know when this bat boy starts going now well some of the symptoms that i have known throughout the years and throughout my experiences is that you can be driving down the road and or you come to a stop sign or to a stoplight and your truck turns off it turns right back on real quick it turns back on uh, that's one of the symptoms. Uh, eventually, until once the sensor starts going out, that's whenever you cannot turn it back on. Your truck will not be able to start back on. Okay, that's another way how you know. Uh, now you might say, well, Jose, uh, if my truck quit running, how do I know if it's a sensor? Well, if you don't have a scanner, what you can do, you can actually go through your through your harness connections on your injectors. And it's gonna be you have six injectors on this on this trucks so you're gonna count one two three four five six when you get to the sixth one you're gonna find a different connector on the outside you're going to disconnect it and start up your truck if your truck starts up boom this is it, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, like my son says. That's what the sensor is, is going to be. Uh, there's other ways of testing it, uh, a little bit more complicated, but that's the easiest way. Just disconnect it from the outside, because if you want to change it out, you literally got to take off the head cover. You got to take off the dock house on the inside. But uh, if, you can, if you can access this sensor through the outside, which is just the harness, and disconnect it, and your truck turns on, boom. You got it. This is it. This basically injects pressure. It tells the, the ECM, the engine control module, how much pressure is going through it. Uh, if you have a scanner, I believe it's uh, you got to have at least about a thousand, a thousand and up. If you're getting less than a thousand, then this is more than likely going to be your problem. Also, uh, if you don't have a scanner, how do you get this code? How do you get the codes, uh, the flash codes? Well, I'll show you all this in another video. Uh, and what I have seen in the past, whenever I have something done bad with my truck, I would ru usually run the uh, the scan without the scanner, and it usually has to give you three codes that are very similar. For example, if you're having a uh, ICP sensor, it should have ICP sensor blank, ICP sensor blank, or low pressure uh, blank. Those three things will equal to this bad boy right here. Doesn't necessarily mean that the sensor is bad. It could be that maybe the harness, as you guys can see, this thing is, it should be straight, but it spent almost all its life, almost eight to 10 years in there. That's the reason why it sets like that. But usually when you get them, they usually be straight, okay? If you guys can see in there, I don't know if you can see real well, uh, you have a little like a little thing that opens and closes that's where your pressure goes at you also have three connectors right here i don't know if you can see those you have three connectors right there and you can see these things eventually go out because 
the harness gets burnt out. I don't know if you guys can see that there. You also have a small little oil ring. This green oil ring, I don't recommend changing oil rings. Just change the whole sensor. Now, catch right here. If you order this thing online, it run you maybe four, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Now, if you wait and you buy it from international, you're probably looking about a good 250 to $300. So you do the math, it's your money, but I'm just here to help. All right, guys, have a good one.